From the Channel Islands to Rowlands Castle in Hampshire for another in our series on distinguished personalities of our time, introducing this time Sir Elliot Verdon Rowe, the aircraft pioneer, surrounded in his study by trophies and medals commemorating his services to aviation. And in places of honour, photos of his two sons, both squadron leaders, killed in the last war. But Sir Elliot, now over 80, in 1908, the first man in Britain to fly, he used a 24-horsepower biplane, is not content to live in the past. His fine mind is still active, and while he no longer designs great aircraft, he keeps his hand in with smaller but ingenious contraptions, like this latest invention, a 60-mile-an-hour bi-car, the nearest thing to a car on two wheels. Prototype by car is really a shaft-driven armchair scooter, almost a foot lower than the standard scooter and with a seat between the wheels. Features include a cushioned backrest and handlebar grips inclined like the steering wheel of a car. The driver's legs can be stretched out in front instead of down, and in rainy weather he can be completely covered by a plastic canopy. The prototype took Sir Elliot a year to design and build, lying on his back almost every day, often for 12 to 16 hours a day. But the inventor is physically as well as mentally in the pink, which we're about to illustrate. The bicycle too, by the way, you'll notice bears the signs of adaptation to his own requirements. Sir Elliot is over 80, the feat is quite remarkable, although when you think of it, for a man of his stature, nothing is impossible.